All right, example 70.1, solve for B, and we have an abstract equation, parentheses, fractions, the works, okay? So, solving abstract equations is what it always has been. The key to the problem is simplification. If you simplify the equation correctly, every abstract equation becomes the same, becomes the same difficulty. The first priority of an abstract equation, if there are parentheses, make them go away. Parentheses are the most commonly um, missed object. All right, so if parentheses are in the problem, they cause the most mistakes. So get them gone immediately. And all we got to do to get rid of parentheses is a distributive property. P, which is a numerator object, no fraction, right? So P times this and P times this is simply going to multiply the numerators by P. The denominators aren't going to be affected by the product, by the distribution. So X is going to stay X equals equals. P times 1 over A makes P over A. P times M over B makes M P over B. Alphabetical order is not required, but if you have some sort of organization in your work, it, it tends to make math easier. So I recommend coming up with something that works for you every time and stick with that plan. Once you get rid of parentheses, the next most commonly um, missed thing or most common thing that causes students to get wrong answers is fractions. So we want fractions to dis disappear. And the least common denominator of the fractions in this problem is going to be AB. So multiply everything by AB is going to make fractions go away. And that means AB times each thing. So AB times X, AB times P over A, and AB times MP over B. Okay, when I do the AB times X, there are no fractions present in that product, right? AB is being multiplied by X, so all we do is just stick them together. They're all different letters. Lego rule on those. Take the A Lego, the B Lego, and the X Lego, stick them together, make an ABX Lego. When we do P over A times AB, the A cancels the A, leaving me with BP. And when I do A over B times MP over B, um, a, B, B, the B's cancel, so I'm going to be left with plus A, M, P. Every single abstract equation you get should get to this level. A bunch of terms, no fractions, no parentheses. Once you get to this point, every single problem is the same. Whatever it is you're trying to solve for is going to be more important than everything else. Solve for B. Everything containing B is more important. So A, B, X is more important. BP is more important, AMP isn't. So rearrange things so everything that's more important gets on one side, everything else on the other side. It doesn't matter which side's which. I'm going to take BP over to the left. So, so ABX is staying where it's at, it stays positive. BP is moving across, it becomes negative. AMP is staying where it's at, it stays positive. Just simple rearrangement of terms, put everything where it belongs. Typically, this is what happens. You've got a, several terms containing the letter you care about, right? When that happens, you simply write the letter you care about once. Everything that isn't that letter goes into parentheses. When you do that step, nothing happens to the other side. And the final step is we want to get B equals. Okay, I'm going to create a fraction every time. Notice where B is, it's on this side with AX minus P, A and P is on this side. So we're going to divide both sides by AX minus P, which means A and P goes on top. The AX minus P goes on the bottom. This fraction that you get out of every time, the top is always the thing that's by itself, and the bottom is always whatever's inside that parentheses. You do not divide by B, you only divide by the AX minus P. So every answer should probably be a fraction. It should be a fraction that has a bunch of letters that aren't important compared to the most important letter, B. So everybody cares about B in this problem. It gets to be all by itself, and it's the star of the show. Hey, I'm more important than everybody else. I'm over here by myself. And all these other guys are over here saying, well, we want to be over there too, but no, you got to stay over there. Get away from me. I'm more important than you. So that's all there is to it. Every problem does that. So. Parentheses gone, fractions gone, every problem gets to this point, a little rearrangement, pull out your more important guy that thinks he's more important than everybody else, and he gets to stay there by himself. Every, he actually smells bad, that's why everybody else goes over here, that's the real reason, but he thinks he's more important. That's why everybody goes away from me, kind of has a, kind of a little odor to him. So anyway.